Well, greetings viewers and voyeurs with Got That Funk wanting to do a end of the year countdown. Now, all year long I've had this countdown in mind. I want to nominate 10 videos for video of the year. Yeah, that's right. I've appointed myself the video nominating body for the whole of YouTube. It's an honor, you know, uh, for you to have me do that. Anyway, no, I'm, I'm kidding, of course. Uh, but I am nominating 10 videos uh, for video of the year. Now, of course, I'm limited to those channels to whom I am subscribed, but I think all 10 of these videos in their own right uh, could be video of the year. But really, we're comparing apples to oranges, and uh, I would encourage everybody out there to uh, look in the description box and go ahead and click on all the links, because these are really, really great videos. Let's get the countdown started off uh, in no particular order with Manic Mads. I feel like straight and gay get talked about all the time, but orientations in the middle of the spectrum get left out of the discussion. And that kind of sucks, because we're here, we're valid, <laughs> and bisexuality is often misunderstood. That's why bi-visibility is so important. They know there's still tension. They know there's still questions. Those who think that we live in a post-racial world are fooling themselves. There's still tension, there's still questions. Both sides pointing the finger saying, you're keeping this shield, you're keeping this shield. No, human beings are keeping this shield on both sides of the fence and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. It's not just black people keeping it going, it's not just white people keeping it going. We Humans have the propensity to distrust people who aren't like them and that's gonna be on both sides. No one's innocent of that and anyone who tells you that is and you see inside here you couldn't just hit upload to the YouTubes you got these spools and you got actual film and you'd have to send the film you gotta send the film out to be developed and they gotta cut it in half and develop it and they send it back to you like days or weeks later and then you gotta play it on a projector if you wanted to show it to your friends, you had to mail the the spool of film and to them on the other side of the country and hope that they had their own eight millimeter projector and then they can play the projector. And you know, you know how long this 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 spool right here? That's three minutes of film. So when the next series started, you could cast your vote at any time during the program, even when you first saw the defendant. They started a hashtag option on Twitter for voting, so it was IORG innocent and IORG guilty. The program was live streamed online and could be accessed all over the world. Soon it became clear that far more people were voting than were actually watching the program. People had started voting without seeing any of it, just reading bits of hearsay and misinformation on Twitter. The easy path to racial understanding has failed, and we are now learning the hard way that a truly honest discussion about race in America begs more of us than simply considering where the United States' most qualified black man may someday find himself. It demands consideration of where all black men, women, and children find themselves. Why is it okay to have the death penalty? We already know that the death penalty doesn't deter crime. If the death penalty worked, <laughs> we wouldn't have people on fucking death row. It's just so fucking barbaric. So, I mean, somehow the way our justice system is, is two wrongs make a right somehow, and they cancel each other out. I don't fucking know. They can meet many other people doing the same thing. Some of those people might even become friends. Some of those people can start dramas. Some of those friends can decide to stop making YouTube videos. All the possible discussions about atheism are exhausted many hundreds of times over. In the increasing desperation, people realize that the only way to get content for their videos is to attack others. Those who disagree with the community are the target of YouTubers with an audience of thousands. One by one, they're driven off of the site. I to explain that bullcrap to my son. You have to explain what bullcrap to your son? That gay people exist? You want to raise your child denying that gay people even exist? Really? You would rather do that than actually be a good parent and prepare your child for the world. Do you think 
he's not going to find out eventually? What are you going to do if your son ends up being gay and you didn't let him know that it's okay to be gay, that there are other gay people out there, that he's not alone? and not be stopped by men on my way to work asking, do I have a boyfriend? Telling me I'm pretty, making sounds like this at me, as if I were a cat. Harming my body isn't the answer anymore. And I'm really glad I know that. I think it's just in time. He asked me, is this your dungeon? And I at once felt agitated. Of course not. Of course this isn't my dungeon. Had I not adorned this meager space with my art, with my longings and follies and fears? So I told him no. I raised my finger to my right temple and said this is my dungeon. Now for me, when I watched all those videos, at the end of the video, I was like, wow, fuck yeah. Um, a couple of them, like the one from Healthy Addict and Dev Shell 2, uh, I found myself in agreement with virtually every single word they spoke, which is something that doesn't happen to me very often when I watch YouTube videos. Anyway, if there's a video that you thought I should have watched because you thought it could merit being alongside these nominations for video of the year, I would appreciate you leaving me a link to that video in the comments section. I'll be happy to watch it if I get the time. But what I really encourage you to do for me is to vote on one of these videos. Watch all 10 of them and let me know which one do you think merits the title video of the year. And last but not least, please, I would just beg you not to vote for people based on the personality of the, the people making the video, but actually the content of what's being expressed. All right. Thanks for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you more, a lot more, in 2015.